Hey guys, it's Desired Arts here, my first tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you a plugin that's called Camera Tracker. And basically, it acts like Buju, which is a motion tracking software. But instead of, um, you know, usually you'd have to render out your clip then render it in Buju, and that takes way too long. So, this plugin allows you to do all the rendering and uh, all the motion tracking inside of After Effects, which is really good. It saves a lot of time. Um, and by the way, this is only 2D motion tracking. If you want to do 3D with Cinema 4D, you still have to use Buju. But if you're going to do 2D motion tracking in After Effects, then this plugin is really useful because it saves a lot of time. So here's my cinematic. It's, this is a quite good cinematic. It's got a lot of rotation, scale change. It's got a, a nice wall to put the text onto. So I'm just going to go up to the effects and presets, type in camera tracker. And just drag it onto a clip. By the way, the, um, the link will be in the description to download this. Yeah, okay, so when, you, when you've got it on, you want to click track features. And this is basically going to do what Bougie would usually do. Uh, it's going to track all the um, parts of the, of the clip for you. So it's better than Tracker because Tracker only um, tracks one point, whereas this tracks the whole screen. So um, it's much better. And this is going to take quite a while, so I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to go into my other comp where I've already done it. So you can see they have a scroll through. It's um, motion track the whole clip. So some things I quickly want to say is um, it'll track all the way through and then it'll go backwards as well. So it's, um, it's a really good motion track. And sometimes it'll get stuck and stop. Um, I don't really know why this happens. I'm not sure. It might be because of the cinematic. It might not like it or something like that. If it does, just leave it for a bit and it may carry on. If it doesn't, then just... Um, delete the effect and re um, put it onto the clip and try again. But yeah, sometimes that happens, I'm not really sure why, but just try different things and it should work. So after you've tracked it, you want to go on camera solve and it's going to solve it for you. This again will take some time. I think if you've got a faster computer, then this will obviously work faster. But it, it should work with any computer really. Okay, so once it has successfully tracked, it'll say solved and that way you know it's worked if it says failed or something then um, try and retrack it and this is going to set the camera data so once the camera is solved you want to then click on create scene and this is going to create the null object and the camera which you can use to put text on different animations that will be motion tracked so you can see the null object is over here somewhere. So um, obviously you don't want it over there. So to move it, the mo to move the null object where you want, you go back on the clip and click on the camera tracker. And you can see all these points now have gone green. So you just want to choose a point you like. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to click on it, and then hold down command and click again. And you go down to ground plate and set origin. And this will now move the null object to that point. Like so. So now the null object is tracked to that point. Oops. So now we're going to make some text. That on there. Let's type in tutorial. Now obviously you can tell that if I move this around it's not motion tracked yet. So what you want to do is come down here to the timeline and then click the 3D shape and that will turn it into 3D. Well, as you can see here, it's matched the null object, which is at that weird angle. And obviously, we don't want that. So what we're going to do is, if you just click R, on the, make, sure you, make sure you've got the tutorial selected or the text, and click R, and you get all of the 3D rotations. So we're going to go on the Y one here, turn this around like that, and then go on the um, Z rotation, straighten it up. Oops. It's at four. Okay, that'll do. And you can see that that is pretty well tracked. The reason it's moving slightly is because it's not quite matched with the null. So if you if you need to move it forwards, the closer to the null object it is, the more motion tracked it will be. So if you use that rotation to move that forwards, you can move it around with the different rotations. <laughs> 
And then instead of using the Z rotation to send it backwards and make it smaller, instead you just want to change the scale to scale it down to size because that way it will stay motion tracked. And then that's about it. You can see there it's nicely motion tracked in place. Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you how to um, do this when you've got two um, text objects on a wall. So um, you can move this one over on the x-axis, move it over, and that will stay motion tracked because it's still on the same line. So I'm going to duplicate that, uh, move, and then just move this one over here. I change this one to desired arts, and we'll change the scale as well. Smaller. And if I rotate line, you can see that's still motion tracked because it's still on the same axis as the null object and the other one. Now um I've tried to, I've tested it to see if like you can have it on different walls. So sort of see if you can have the text over on this little thing here on this thing here. And it doesn't work very well if, if you have things at different angles. So it's best if you're gonna do two texts to keep it on the same plane on the same wall. Um, but yeah, that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found this interesting and useful. I really recommend getting this plugin because it's really quick and easy. It's so much faster than Buju. Like I said, there will be a link in the description to download it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please thumbs up. I haven't finished my exams yet. I've still got about three weeks left of exams, so I won't be doing any more edits recently. But if you want me to do any more tutorials on things, just leave it in the comments, any suggestions. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.